Well, he's on that 28 match unbeaten streak here, isn't he, at Melbourne Park? Obviously, it'd be 29 a little bit later today if he does beat that 18 year old qualifier, the guy that idolises Novak. But obviously, he's looking for his 25th Grand Slam. That's key. <laughs> Those numbers, they're not. When I say them, they don't really seem real, Matt, do they? No, it's incredible. And I think this one is really big because obviously Margaret Court, uh, the great Australian uh, player, has 24. Uh, and we cannot really separate them. It's all about statistics when we talk about the best player of all time. And, and you have to, even though she didn't play in, in the Open era, she has 24. So I think for Novak to win the Australian Open and to make, to make it 25 is absolutely incredible. And I don't call him the goat, I call him the boat, the best of all time, because the greatest of all time, I'm sure we're gonna have a debate here, the greatest of all time doesn't really have anything to do with tennis to me, it's who's been the most important for tennis, Roger Federer, I think, but the boat, Novak Djokovic, easily the best of all time now. It doesn't seem either, does it, Tim, that anybody is really gonna come out and challenge him this time, the young guns, okay, we saw Yannick Sinner um, not play any opening matchups, obviously Carlos Alcaraz didn't play any proper tournaments mm. either. These guys have taken a little bit of a different kind of route to get here this year. It may work for them, we don't know. They are the people that possibly could challenge him, but can they this time? Yeah, I mean, they're knocking on the door. For me, Sinner was the one that made the biggest strides at the end of last year. His sort of performance in those indoor tournaments up to the tour finals in Turin was absolutely fantastic. He's yet to win a slam, he's knocking on the door. Alcaraz has won two majors, so, you know, he's been there and done it. He didn't play in Australia last year, but there's absolutely no doubt, as Matt said, that uh, Djokovic is the clear favourite. You just reflect on his performances in 2023. He won three of the four majors. He lost 6-4 in the fifth in the final of Wimbledon. So um, his level, I think, is better than it's ever been. I, I asked him on court in Turin, you know, it looks like you're playing the best tennis of your life. How does it feel? And, and he said that. So I think that's kind of the, the warning signs. That's what all the other players know that they're up against.